Hi, it's Dr. J.D. Zipkin here at Go Health Urgent Care, and I'm here to talk about antibiotic resistance. Now, we all need antibiotics from time to time when there's true bacterial infections, but misusing them, being using them when we don't need them, can have a lot of negative consequences. This is a class of medication like any other drug on the market that has risks. There's always a cost for using every medication. As a physician, the, really the goal here is to make sure that the benefits outweigh those risks, to make sure that not only will you be healthy and happier for it, but that you're not going to run into any of the negative consequences of those medications. So let's talk about those risks at this point. Like any other drug, antibiotics do have a side effect profile, and that can range from anything from a mild rash to really severe diarrhea and, and gastrointestinal upset because ultimately antibiotics are eradicating the bacteria in your body, in your gut. It allows for other more opportunistic bacteria to then take over. And that can really drive some of these negative consequences. But like other medications, people can have allergies to them and in general just not tolerate them very well. Some patients will say they feel a little off or just not themselves when they're on an antibiotic. And so if we have that risk profile to begin with, it's really important that we use them in, in situations where a patient will benefit from them. Things like a viral illness, which is a virus, like a cold, the antibiotics do not affect colds whatsoever. I don't mean they don't affect them a little bit. I mean, not at all. And so it's really important to make sure that when you have a viral infection, you are not getting antibiotics. So let's talk about the bigger implications of using antibiotics when they're not necessary. We talked about the individual side effects, but there are actually larger community issues and long-term health issues. So bacteria oftentimes go through random mutations. It's not that when we give them an antibiotic, they suddenly react to the antibiotic in a way that gives them resistance to it. In actuality, one of those random mutations that happen to have popped up before we even give any medication whatsoever may be the key to that bacteria's survival. And if that's the case, that means our medication, our antibiotic, is going to eradicate all the bacteria except that one with the key mutation that will allow it to survive. And then who grows up moving forward? It's that one big bad bug the antibiotic resistant bacteria. They then grow out and populate wherever they have been, and now you're stuck with something that's much worse. And so over time, people can accumulate these resistance profiles. And over time, it may mean that the oral medications that we have to offer here in an urgent care center like Go Health may no longer be effective. Maybe those patients need to start going to the hospital uh, or even be admitted into the hospital for IV antibiotics, that is through the vein, because no oral antibiotic works anymore. We see this unfortunately more often than we'd prefer, where ICU patients don't do as well as we'd prefer or even pass away simply because no antibiotic is effective for them anymore. So misusing antibiotics doesn't only negatively impact us with the side effect profile it has like any other medication out there, but can also affect our long-term health because other antibiotics may not work in the future for us. And more importantly, because we work and live in our communities, we can then spread those germs, those pathogens, those really nasty bacteria to other people in our communities and negatively impact the people around us. That's all for now. Hope this was a great experience for you too.